Hello and welcome to another video in our overview of the production module in SAP Business One. In this session, we will cover the Issue for Production functionality. First, we will create a production order in Business One. We will choose our Finish Good 100. I'm going to choose that item code, the components from the bill of material populate automatically. You will remember that there are two issue methods that are specified backflush and manual. Backflush, again, means that upon completion of the production order, the specified quantity of the component will be automatically decremented from the inventory quantity in the warehouse. But manual would require that an issue for production be done before the production order can be completed. We will change, in this example, component number 200 to be a manual issue method. You may have a mix of issue methods on any given production order. The components may all be set to manual, they may all be set to backflush, or some may be set to manual and some may be set to backflush. We will go ahead and add this production order. And then we will come back and we will release it so that we can act upon it. So now that we have a production order in released status, we can go ahead and perform the issue for production. There are a few ways that you can do that. One way would be to call the production order up in the screen as it is here, right click and choose issue components. That would open up the issue components wizard and would create an issue for production. We will use the direct method by choosing issue for production from the menu. You could opt to enter the order number directly into the field on the first row. So we could type in 167, but if we didn't know what the production order was, we could choose it from a list of open production orders by selecting the production order button in the lower right hand corner. Here we have a list of all open production orders. We will choose that 167. And then the menu presents us with the rows in that production order that are set to be a manual issue method. We'll choose the one that is needed, say OK, and it is brought into our issue for production screen. If we desired at this point, we could change the quantity. Maybe we want to issue two just in case of defects and return one later. But we're going to accept the quantity that is specified in the production order, and we will go ahead and say add. After answering the warning message, the issue for production is complete. Scrolling back, we will take a look at the journal entry that was created by this issue for production. And we see that the inventory finished goods account was credited, representing the finished the component coming out of inventory. And an inventory work in progress account was debited. This WIP account holds the value of the asset until such time as the production order is complete. And when the production order is completed, the finished good inventory associated with the finished good would be debited and this WIP account would be credited. Another way to create an issue for production is to use the pick pack manager in the inventory module to create a pick list and use that pick list to create the issue for production. In order to demonstrate that, we will first create another production order. And through the wonder of video editing, we are now presented with a production order 168 in a release status that is set exactly the way we had our previous example. Namely, component 200 is set to a manual issue method. We'll move now to the pick, pack, and production manager, as it is known effective with version 9.3. We check our selection box for production orders, say OK, and we are presented with a list. Here is our production order 168 at the bottom. And you'll notice that all five rows of the production order are present in the selection. If the warehouse manager knew which one of these was set to be manual, he could create a pick list for just that component. Conversely, he may want to create a pick list for all components so that when he's sending a warehouse worker into the warehouse to pull the components in preparation for the production run, he can place all of them on the pick list. In our example, we are going to choose the three 
our inventory items and we will release those to a pick list the menu walks us uh, the wizard walks us through and the pick list eight has been created we'll find that pick list When the warehouse worker comes back and reports that all items have been picked, we can choose the pick all, update. And now if we went back to the pick pack and production manager, we would see that this production or this pick list is set to a picked status. From the pick list, we can then go ahead and create the issue for production automatically the component that is set for an issue method of manual is placed into the issue for production. Even though we had three lines, three components on the pick list, only the one that is set to be manual issue method is placed on the issue for production. That is because during the reporting of the completion of the production order, those items that are set to be back flush will see their quantities automatically decremented. And if we did the issue for production first, we would double dip, so to speak, and pull twice the required quantity out of inventory. Everything looks okay. We will go ahead and add, answer our warning message, and the issue for production is created. The pick list is now complete, except for components that are set for backflush. You'll see that they remain, the two remain from 168. Once the completion is reported on that production order, then these two components will also be set to a pick status and the pick list can be closed. That concludes the session on issue for production. We hope that you found it informative and useful, and we hope that you will watch the other sessions in this video series on an overview of the production module in SAP Business One. Thank you.